Hi! In this tutorial, we'll look at how to transfer and manipulate UV texture coordinates using ICE in Softimash. This scene might look familiar to you. It's a modified version of the Auto Fence Builder shown on the XSI Support blog. The parts of the fence are duplicated and transformed based on a curve, and the fence updates when you add and move points on the curve. If you unhide the original fence parts, you can see that their materials and textures are not being transferred. The factory compounds that are used to copy the fence parts have built-in options for transferring materials, but they only work with materials applied using ice. So the first thing to do is to use ice trees to apply the material to the polygons of the fence parts. There's only one material used by all parts of the fence, so we just need to add it to the materials attribute. Then, we need to set the material ID so that all polygons use this material. Set the material ID to 1 to use the first material in the materials array instead of the material applied to the object. Normally, is true is driven by a condition on the polygons, but in this case, set it to true for all polygons. Now we need to do the same for the other parts of the fence. Right-click on the root to insert an execute node so that it's easier to copy and paste these nodes. The fence is now using the correct material, but not the correct UV texture coordinates. The factory compounds copy the UVs to a custom attribute, but the material isn't using them yet. We can fix that in the render tree. The default seam material is applied to the fence panel's object, but we want to edit the wood applied locally to the polygons. The render tree lets you switch between all materials used by an object. When you select the image shader, the projection controls become available. These controls are also available in the shader's property editor. Specify the custom attribute to which the original UVs were copied. Repeat this for the other parts of the fence. Something is still wrong with the fence rails. The factory compounds copied values from the default cluster and projection name. However, the original fence rail uses a different projection name, so you need to change the source projection name to match. Alternatively, you could rename the source projection instead. So far, we've transferred the materials and texture coordinates from the fence parts to the complete fence. In the next video, we'll use ice to make some adjustments, like getting rid of the repeating pattern in the fence panels.